Sometimes you want to do a simple transformation in Power BI, in Power Query, but you don't know what that transformation is. Uh, fortunately, we have this feature in Power Query, which is called Column by Example. It helps you to create the transformation based on the outcome you want without really knowing what the transformation is. I'm going to show you in this video how simple it is without writing any code. I'm Reza Rad from Radicat. Let's jump into this video. For Power BI developers, Power Query is the place that you go and connect to different data sources. You bring that data into the environment of Power Query Editor. And Power Query Editor is the place that you'll go and do data transformations, data preparations, things such as removing the specific columns that you may not need, or uh, reducing the rows, merging one table with another table, um, filtering the data, sometimes using multiple columns to create like a combined column, like concatenating columns together. We call these actions data transformations. Data transformations in Power Query uh, exist to help us to prepare the data for the data model we have in Power BI, so that later on we create relationships and write tax calculations on the top, and build the visualizations. Now, data transformations options in Power Query are quite a lot. If you go to each tab of Power Query, you see a lot of data transformations options. And uh, above that, there are some transformations options that you don't see in the graphical interface. So knowing all of these data transformations might be quite overwhelming at the beginning of your journey in Power BI or Power Query. Fortunately, we have this feature called column by example. This is a feature that without really knowing those transformations, Power Query helps you to um, tell Power Query that this is the output that I want from this input and it builds that transformation for you. It writes that formula for you. Uh, if you look at this example that I have in here, I have a Power Query editor opened in here. This is where you get to when you click on uh, get data and transform from Power BI, that will bring Power Query Editor up for you. This is the Power Query Editor window. Now, in this window, I want to show you how that transformations exist. Of course, if I want to go and do any transformations, I have this ability to go to each of these tabs, transform, I can do grouping, I can do count rows, I can go to add columns, I can build transformations using, for example, combined um, uh, options to do um, conditional column, things like that, but there are plenty here. There is one option that is quite useful and that is called column from example. Column from example is uh, giving you the ability to choose what you want as the output. So in this table, customer table, if I go and say I want column from example, this will create something like that at the end. Let me first show you that column from example that has two options. So basically when you click on it, you can say I want column from example when you click on this drop down. I want column from example for all columns or from the selection of the columns. This depends on whatever output you want. Does it depend on multiple columns or just one column? This uh, can be a combination of those. If you choose all columns, normally that select everything. So that's easier for uh, doing any transformation that goes across multiple columns. But selection is um, faster, especially if you have like hundreds of columns. Uh, I'll just do the normal one, which is based on all columns. And then I'll, uh, then, then I'll see here that my table is on the left hand side. Everything is grayed out. I have a, an extra column generated here. This is the output column. This is what the output is going to be. Now, based on this, I might choose what I want the outcome to be. For example, let's say I want to generate a full name. And the full name that I want to generate might be just first name concatenated with the last name. In that case, I can go and double click in here and type in what I want as the output. I can say, well, this is John. Uh, be careful that Power Query is case sensitive. So John lowercase might be a different transformation. It might create different things for you. I can say John Yang. Um, 
and you can see this already tells me that there is a column called full name with this so I may not want that I might want this to be John Yang uh, plus something like for example their mm, their middle name in between so I might say this John V Yang and you see this doesn't have that in here but if I click on this and press enter as soon as I do that this automatically does the same process for everything for the second row you see this already has done that so it's got Eugene L Hong or for the third row because there was no middle name it just put a space over there it automatically created that not only this it also created this transformation in the M formula it tells me that uh, this whatever you want to do is actually combining text values from three columns first name middle name last name with a space in between it understood all of those based on just that value that I entered sometimes it is not uh, smart enough to understand it just based on what value one value uh, or one row you may need to enter like the second row or the third row and then it would get it but it's a really powerful feature to have something like this when you click on ok as soon as you click on ok this would be an actual column in your table now and that formula we have seen automatically generated for us to see right here very simple this is helpful for tons of different things like for example you may want to go to this like uh, I think there's a birth date column in here if I can find it uh, birth date this time I selected a column because I do have also other date fields I would select a column I say column from example from selection right now let's assume in this one I want to find out the weekday that this uh, birthday happened I'll just double click on this and this would give me a lot of options here that what are all the variations I can get out of this selected columns in this case it's a date column so I can get all different things from it I can get uh, the age I can get uh, the day of birthday I can get day of the week I can get like end of the week date start of the week date and I can get, get day of week name which is exactly what I want as soon as I click on it press enter this does it again for all of these writing the formula also in here and I press ok this is of course one of the AI features that is not recent we had it very long time ago in uh, Excel that O2 fill experience that you see in Excel when you uh, have three uh, values in three different rows and then you drag the bottom row all the way down and it automatically used the same whatever uh, formula applied on all other rows this is kind of um, inheriting that experience but taking it to the next level which is amazing there are tons of different things we can do with this I'll ju I just showed you a few of these for example we might want to say well I just want to get for example the first three letters of the full name right I can go and select this and I can say column from example from selection and then I can say well the first three letter which is in this case John uh, now in this case as you can see it thought that what I'm trying to get is not the first three letter it is actually uh, everything before the space so that is what the formula got to me right so everything before a space but what I wanted was only the first three letters so what I'll do is for the second row I'll just enter this and now you can see that this now this time got what I mean uh, and it automatically applied it for the rest of these using this transform uh, which is text.start full name and three characters at the beginning of it when I click on OK it automatically generates that of course if I want to do something like this I can always come here select this I'll go to add column and I'll say extract first characters and I say first three characters that gives me exactly the same thing that I have done here and you see it is also the same transformations but this is for situations that I'm a power query 
Uh, I'm experienced Power Query developer. I already know where that transformation is, what, what that transformation do. I'll just go and apply it. In a lot of scenarios, you don't know that transformation. So this column from example is a really big help to, uh, to help you in finding that. And there is no performance issues or anything related to it uh, with it because uh, it is just generating that transformation behind the scene. If you have tons of columns, like if you have 500 columns, 600 columns, then I suggest column from example to be by selection. So you go select columns first, and then you go and do column by, from example. But um, as I said, there is no performance issue with it. You can use the same thing in Dataflow, Power Query Online, uh, either Dataflow Gen 1 or Gen 2, or anywhere you use Power Query. Power Query in Excel has the same functionality. It's a really simple functionality. I hope you use it in your implementations. Um, I'm Reza Rad from Radacad. We do weekly videos of Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on this subject. Until the next video, bye.